had a few people ask me questions on other videos, pictures I posted about my home hitch plow design. So in this video, I'm gonna cover how I cleared my 80 foot long driveway for five years without a shovel or a snowblower in Minnesota for under $50. So I bought a house in Minnesota back in 2015. Most of the money I had at the time was going towards renovations. I did not have money I wanted to put towards a several hundred dollar snowblower, which would be serious enough for the six month long winters and the snow we get in Minnesota. So I had scrap from various projects that we were working on around the house that I used to prototype a hitch plow for a vehicle. So this was just made out of wood. Um, you can see from the pictures here, I used like a flexible MDF board for the front scoop or like the main blade. A little flap at the top to help roll snow over. Gave it a slight curve, just a two by four frame and some big bolts um, to kind of hold everything together. The, uh, the little bar that goes into the hitch was just made out of wood. Um, like I said, this was just a prototype. I wanted to get an idea of what this might look and feel like, how it might function. But one key part of this plow was that it could pivot. So on the back of the plow, right after where it goes into your hitch receiver, it does have a main pivot so that it can move up and down with the slope of the driveway. Uh, I've got a little pickup, uh, just a little Chevy Colorado, um, it's just two wheel drive, but it does have a, a locking, automatic locking rear differential. Um, after a few uses though, I started to get a little bit more courageous with how much snow I could push around. Uh, and so the hitch broke um, right where the, all the, the framework kind of attaches to the blade. So back in the garage, I added some cross braces, these kind of diagonal pieces that go out to the edges of the blade to help reinforce it. So if I hit something on the edges, it's not just going to snap off. So I tried ramming a snowbank with this and the whole thing just crumbled underneath the rear of my truck. So then it was time to build a new one. I had just bought a welder for another project and decided it's time to make one out of steel. So I needed a way to adjust the angle of attack of the blade as well. So I found this eight in one adjustable ball mount hitch at Harbor Freight. At the time it was only $27. Uh, this is the plow that lasted me for the rest of my time in Minnesota. I've got a couple of videos here that would show exactly how I plowed. So when the snow happened, uh, it would come down. I usually wait till it was getting close to being done. Unless it was going to be a big snowfall, then I would take it off in pieces. You can see I stored my plow just in the back of my truck. If it ran underneath the tonneau cover, it would kind of go diagonally and it's super convenient. Yeah, not the proudest moment of my life there. Anyway, so the plow would just clip in um, to the rear hitch receiver and I could just back the vehicle out of the garage and clear the snow off the driveway. Now, I know a lot of people give me a hard time about plowing in reverse, but it really wasn't that bad. I grew up doing a lot of reversing of large vehicles and it, so this wasn't that difficult for me. I could see the corners of the blade in my mirrors and for just doing a small driveway that's relatively straight, it wasn't that difficult uh, for me to, to clear it without running into trash cans or the corner of my fence or anything like that. Okay, I do have to tell one story here though. So one time, uh, I think it was probably the second or third year of having this plow, and I really wanted to put it through its paces and see what limits, uh, what its limits were. Um, I had pushed a pretty big pile of snow at the bottom of the driveway and then came down pretty quick from the top of my driveway down that little hill, right as my plow hit that big pile of snow and it actually folded the plow underneath my pickup truck. Now, if you remember, I said this is just a two wheel drive pickup and now all of a sudden both of my rear wheels were off the ground. <laughs> so even with a locking differential, that's not going to help you at all. Um, I was impressed though that the plow was strong enough to hold the rear of my pickup truck up off the ground. 
So what I did, I, I blocked the front wheels. I went and got a jack, uh, jacked up the back of my pickup just a little bit to undo the plow, pulled the plow out from underneath it, and then lowered my vehicle back down and was back on my way. The truck was fine, the plow was fine. I was able to finish plowing for the rest of the day. And I just learned my lesson that I needed to take my time pushing big amounts of snow at the same time. And I also used that Harbor Freight adjustable hitch to lower the plow a little bit so that the leading edge of the blade would be a little bit farther out and less apt to fold underneath my pickup truck. The plow actually outlived my truck. So unfortunately, a few months later, I got in an accident and totaled my truck. During that accident though, the plow was in the bed of my pickup truck and survived the crash just fine. I took it home and used it when I purchased a new truck. So the next pickup I bought uh, had four wheel drive. Just bought a nice Nissan Frontier, very reliable pickup, affordable. I really liked this truck, um, added a couple mods to it. This truck also came with a backup camera, so I was able to watch more carefully my plow, the snow, um, in addition to using my mirrors to watch where the edges of my plow were. And the plow still fit in the bed. It had to go in diagonally. This bed was a little bit shorter than my Colorado, but you can see I still got it in there. I still got out of there. It was uh, quite nice to use. So in 2020, I sold my pickup truck and I bought a van, a Ford E350 extended body for building into an awesome camper van. And before the first snowfall, I ordered a front hitch receiver for this van, got it installed and was ready to go with the same old plow. And so yes, I even plowed my driveway with this same plow on the front of a van. Now it's not an F350 with four wheel drive, but it's still got plenty of oomph with a V8 plenty of weight to push some snow, and it did a fantastic job.